Hello there, Erunar here, and today we will review Athena roster. Athena is led by Menesteus, a uh, very offensive, fast, versatile hero. He can bring down enemy units, boost his own units, give more speed or damage. A lot of interesting abilities but they are costing a lot of stamina or mage rage. Uh, about the roster of the Athena is very interesting. As similarly like Ithaca, it's starting with Islander and Island units. Islanders are maybe the weakest, but thanks to the unspotable ability one of the most niche and interesting flankers in the game. Uh, then we got the young spears, solid typical charger in the game. Highly recommending this for the early game. Then we got Athenian coastal watch. So instead of the spearman, we got something that is weaker, has worse weapon, not much of the defensive stats, but to make it up uh, we got the two hand melee mod, thanks to which this is going to be faster and offensive unit, and on top of that we can use the Cantavrian wedge formation for even more speed, uh, more charge bonus. So this weak frontline unit uh, should be manually actively used as a very nice and cool charger. Then Athena is mostly about the swords. Sword skirmishers are typical, relatively weak but versatile uh, early game unit. You can vanguard it, it got some skirmishing power good speed so it's quite handy for mid tier or low uh, or early game battles then we got the island club warriors which are solid mid tier unit uh, even without unspotable they have good stats and their weapon is making this unit very good for the front line we can uh, in early game get light spearmen from the watchtower. Uh, if you can get something better, uh, go for it. But otherwise, this is very fine. And then we in the then we go for sword frontline. Yes, this is uh, Athena, and the sword units are the front front lines in this roster. They have quite defensive, uh, maybe not as much as spears, but the, this is the only sword unit with expert charge defense. And they can throw a javelin or two to provoke enemy. So this is very nice frontline unit. Then with the mid tier, we got the spears. They are not so good frontlines. They have average weapon, but again, you want to use 200 milli mod. And when you have good opportunity to charge, you want to use the wedge formation. It will be beautiful. Then we go with the front line. These marines are even better thanks to flanking defense improved, solid stats for mid tier. They are sword units, uh, very good. Then in the late, late game, we go with uh, Athenian Eupatridae, which on top of the 200 milli and Kentaurian wedge, they have improved flanking. Finally, they are going to be good flankers with already good weapon. Quite okay, defensive offensive stats. So you will have to 
carefully use them in the battlefield. And one of the best units is the Companions of Menesteus. These swords are immune to flanking and they will hold and grind and last in the battle. Immune to flanking is one of the best abilities you can have. With one of the best uh, weapons and good stats, this is uh, the endgame unit you want to use. Missile roster is also interesting. We start with the javelins. We can compare two javelins. The island skirmishers are usually not very good. Instead, we can bring something that is faster, slightly more tanky and more offensive. So, and also Athen hunters can throw the javelins while, while they are chasing somebody. So this makes them a worthy variant of the island skirmishers. Then we go have bowmen, we skip this unit as always. Instead we go with Athenian archers. Archers of Athena are also interesting. They have stalk and snipe. They are invisible. For a for a Archer unit, they have pretty good range, 150 is nice, good damage, but the sni snipe and stalk, mm, this is surprise flanking archer unit. With the skirmishers uh, in the mid tier, they are quite fast, they deal do nice damage at a good range, and also they can chase units, shoot them, and continue doing so. On the end game, we got heavier upgrade. They have solid weapon again, pretty good combat stats. They are throwing harder and stronger javelins. And uh, missiles are also one of the best, thanks to the stalk ability. Stalky and snipey, they can deal nice damage by surprise. And on top of that, they can use the volley ability, which is useful uh, against slings or, or defensive enemies, as 200 meters is way more than any other missile unit can shoot. So you either you are going to use talk, or if you cannot reach enemies, you can use the volley ability. Another interesting part of the Athena roster are chariots. Um, I don't mean the standard Achaean medium and heavy chariots, but we got the we also got the skirmishing and reinforced skirmishing chariots. I can tell you that these reinforced skirmish chariots are good in the multiplayer battles and they are good in the melee as well because they deal a lot of damage. And one unique unit, finally some missile cavalry. Some missile cavalry that is actually good is the mercenary city and horse archers. They, they deal a lot of damage and quickly. And what, what one ability makes them even better at skirmishing is the circle formation. With this they can shoot uh, from longer distance and most of the time the projectiles will miss them. So this is very funny to use, uh, very efficient to waste enemy ammunition while you are going to deal nice damage. Uh, now I will show you one simple battle which will simulate typical mid-tier battle. We got very small efficient army against standard mid-tier settlement garrison. We are going to use our swords, marines as frontline. Uh, we will try to do some skirmishing with our hunters and in the back reserves or 
skirmishing we already uh, are going to use spearmen with shields on their back and very hit hidden far away we are going to use our stalking Athenian archers so the enemy got uh, shielded spearmen that's strong unit armored spearmen that is even stronger unit renowned slings is very solid uh, long range unit more spearmen and shielded spearmen so we will have to deal with enemy hero and slings and then the rest of the army so in this situation we shall go forward because we don't have long range right now so we have to eat a couple of missile arrows right now but as you can see Athenian youths do have their javelins and they are not afraid to use them the foe has sighted your hidden units oh no they have they have seen my units never mind we go back to be hidden and then come back most important is to to have a good frontline battle not so messy and then we will again do some flanking right around here all right so enemy has already engaged us he got more missiles than we do our front lines are are occupied and here i'm going to go two versus one against the spearmen so i got two units here to overwhelm spearmen another one nice detail is we are going to bring our stalk hidden archers to the battle come on guys come shoot yes they are shooting already good portion of their HP is gone we are going to use the gap and engage in the combat so we can win and here we we quickly dealt with one enemy spearman right away. Our hidden missiles are doing good job. Very nice. Frontline is holding. And we shall support our frontline here. Since enemy hero is dangerous unit, we shall focus fire it. And do and try to win on this side all right nothing interesting is going on we are winning the rear bringing bank units our front line is still holding and now i will show you very beautiful charge with wedge formation no not yet please align yes and now nice and it should be routing in yes seconds uh, so we are winning on this front we are archers are doing nice job enemy hero is finally broken and that, that was it Athena has quite unique units uh, but the roster is uh, well balanced you got the front line you got flankers you got missiles but in completely new playstyle so missiles did a good job javelins did a lot of running and chasing very good and frontline 
did very well. And our charger earned his value. Let's check also enemies. This was very sad performance. Terrible performance, front line. Okay, he did something. He as well, but that's pretty much it. So, I highly recommend to use trying the Athena. And see you later.